Welcome back inside the lab, everybody. You are tapped into your source for daily fantasy hockey news. It's the two-year anniversary of the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast with Steel and Flip. Thank you for joining us. We're talking a little bit about Drew Doughty, the LA Kings, Miro Heiskanen's return, and Josh Morrissey's injury. Thank you for joining us. Happy Friday. Let's get this paper. Your Locked On Fantasy Hockey, your daily podcast on fantasy hockey. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. What is going on, everybody? Happy Friday, and thank you for joining us for the latest episode of the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast. And thank you sincerely from the bottom of our hearts for making us your first listen every single day for the last two years. With me and Steele, we have been holding it down since January 26, 2022, and we couldn't be doing it without y'all. We're going to start the show with a quick time reflection, showing you guys some love. Little, How we doing so far, Steele? Two years in. But more importantly, perhaps, Drew Doughty and this L.A. Kings team needs to be discussed. A la Devin Tays a couple of weeks ago, as you astutely <laughs> pointed out, calling out his team. Let's talk about it. But also, Miro Heiskin and the Dallas Stars are now rounding into form as what we talked about on yesterday's episode, a true cup threat. Let's talk about them and Miro Heiskinen's return. And maybe in the same vein, another cup threat. But on the other side of the puck, Josh Morrissey taking a shot off the lower body. Didn't look good. We'll speculate a little bit, Steele, but not too much because he is a top piece and it's going to affect your squad. Friday's bets, we got to bounce back in a big way. But my friend, two years. Shout out to both of us. Shout out to our listeners. Couldn't do it without you. That's number one. Couldn't do it without the listeners out there and straight up and down. Just feel very lucky and grateful to be able to come on here every day and talk hockey with you. Yeah, just very appreciative of all the support and love that we've gotten over the last two years. Obviously, from the start, it was a little bit of a, a struggle for us coming halfway <laughs> through the season. You know, yep. already uh, we started end of January and, you know, trying to come in, uh, come into the network of the Locked On Podcast Network, mm -hmm. start fresh with the Fantasy Hockey Podcast and get going. And, you know, again, just we, we you and I have yet to meet in person yet we're gonna True. have to get together very very soon get a league yep. game going or summertime golf you know how yes, we like sir. to get the links but you know it, it's been an absolute pleasure doing this with you man it's been it. uh such a strong relationship again and and i love the network i love working with you talking hockey fantasy hockey's been something that i love to do again since i don't know i've been 10 years old since i've been able to yep. bet uh illegally <laughs> at that point uh just <laughs> bootleg 10 year old bets yeah I'm loving bootleg it. 10 year old bets but <laughs> yeah I, you know pre i got i got we got to show some love to all the support and all the fans mm -hmm. out there who who listen monday through friday seven o'clock in the morning so the love goes out to all of you over the last two years and the future of this podcast as well and a little bit of love to FanDuel because today's episode yes. is brought to you by FanDuel. Right now, new customers get 150 bucks <laughs> in bonus bets guaranteed when you place a $5 bet. Visit FanDuel.com slash locked on to get started. Two years go and steal. Can't remember the title reads, <laughs> but that's okay. And you know what? As we finish this thought, two years just getting warmed up. We had Wegman on the show yesterday. We got a big guest coming up on Monday. John Maddish, lead national writer for the score, formerly of Sun Media. Big. This is a guy tapped into the NHL for a very, very long time. He's a senior analyst. He breaks news. He is tapped into the NHL. We're going to pick his brain on Monday's episode, and Steele and I have all kinds of new content planned for the next upcoming season. We're going to roll out the rest of this year, and we're ramping up in a big way. So thank you for being a part of the ride. We're going to continue to help you build that winning squad 30 minutes every day, baby. That's what we do. So let's keep a tight steal. Drew Doughty. This is a player that I traded for in my keeper dynasty league. Yeah. I got him along with a draft pick. I used to get Joseph wall mm -hmm. I traded John Tavares as much as the King, uh, the Kings are struggling. Drew Doughty is still a valuable piece. And if anybody can call out this team steal, I believe it's Drew Doughty. And I think if they don't respond after how they've played over the last 10 games, two, five, and three, and guys like Dowdy calling them out, I am going to have to come out here and eat my hat because I was all over this Kings team as a true cup threat. And right now they are not looking like even close to that. 
Well, first of all, that trade seems to be working out well for you. John Tavares has been real cold of late. Uh, Andrew Doughty, again, even though they've been struggling, he's been solid for the Kings. And once Joseph Wall comes back, that's going to be solid for you as well. But yeah, if if anyone's calling them out, you know, obviously you want either Anze uh, Anze Kopitar or Drew Doughty. Drew uh, Drew Doughty Mm -hmm. being the vocal uh, and voice and the emotional one who can really get the team going with his passion for the game and, you know, the the intensity that he brings. And I love the comments from him. Exactly mm-hmm. what you saw from Devin Taves a couple, you know, a few, uh, maybe a month ago at this point, three weeks yep. ago uh, from the Colorado Avalanche, calling out his team. I love the comments about, um, yeah, just players on the team playing for themselves, padding mm-hmm. their stats right now, worrying about goals and assists, rather yeah. about the team's success and getting the wins that are very important. This is the first time I think all season – that they've been out of the top three in the Pacific division. Mm. And, and you're right. They have struggled. They're two, five and three in their last 10 games two seven and five in their last 14. And this Eesh. couldn't be a complete opposite season from what the Edmonton Oilers have gone through. The Edmonton Oilers uh, started True. off real, real bad. And then look yeah. at this 15 game win streak. And now look at what the King, the Kings are doing. They started off real hot and currently imploding as we see Mm -hmm. Uh, then play the last 10 games. And I will say this about what we've seen from them, besides losing to the Buffalo Sabres and the uh, San Jose Sharks, the last two games where each time they had a two goal lead and lost, uh, you know, uh, lost, whether it was shootout or in regulation, it's an absolute embarrassment. You can't be losing to the two teams who are in the bottom of the league that have been there all season long. On top of that, they have had a tough schedule to end December and in January so far. Losses to Vegas, Edmonton, mm-hmm. Toronto, two losses to Detroit, Florida, Tampa, Carolina, Dallas, and sure. Washington. Yeah. All of those teams are current teams in a playoff spot besides the Washington Capitals right now, who mm-hmm. are only two or three points back yeah. of a wild card spot. So they have tough had stretch. a tough schedule, yep. but they have had leads in a couple of these games, especially those last two against the bottom tier teams. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I will, you know, give some credit due to you about calling out Cam Talbot a couple of weeks ago, because maybe you were right. Cam Talbot maybe needs a softer workload moving forward. He has I nine so. straight losses yeah. and the last three games, he's allowed five goals each uh, five goals allowed in each of those three uh, games that he started in. But he still has a 913 save percentage and yes. a 2.52 goals yep. against average, which is not by uh, bad by any means. So this has a lot to do with the offense of this team and sort of yes, just trying does. to pad their stats, uh, like we said. And really over the last 10 games, Quinton Byfield has been the lone star for me. You know, Adrian Kempe could be in there. I really like Trevor Moore still. Uh, mm. But Anze Kopitar, he's got one point in his last seven. Kevin Fiala has been a little bit inconsistent. And we just said this, you know, we love our boy, Victor Arvinson. If they get Victor Arvinson back, maybe they can get Pierre-Luc Dubois going. Maybe they can hey. shuffle the lines a little bit, but I don't know. This team is just imploding as we, as we see them. First of all, shout out to you. This is why we do it together because you just covered about everything I wanted to talk about. So kudos there. <laughs> We're killing it already. But number one, Cam Talbot's numbers speak volumes to me about maybe the team around him, letting him down a little bit. The yeah. last five games, he obviously hasn't performed, but the numbers yes. are still there. But I think the workload is an excellent point. And Phoenix Copley is not exactly someone you want to rely on as a number one, but I <laughs> no. don't hate I don't hate him playing 15 or 20 games. Maybe that's yeah. still too much minutes for Cam Talbot. Either way, we knew headed into this season, that was a bold move. And now you couple that with the offense. Last year, the offense was top three. I think the year before that, they were top five. They were right up there at the top of the leaderboard for goals scored. And this year, they are like 20th in goals scored. What's also bizarre is the power play has fallen right out of the top 15. They used to be up there in power play. And then kind of conversely, they are the number one penalty killing unit in the league. Yeah. So I think there's a, still a lot of value here in this club. And I'm going to bring up Dowdy's comments just to kind of wrap this up and we'll head to break. But if they can get the offense offense clicking a little bit, I think this team is close enough and the pieces they have, veterans, young talent, they add a piece or two, they are good enough to go on a run to the cup. That's something that I am going to stick to, but let's wrap it up with this quote. We get a three, one lead tonight and guys start thinking it's cookie night. We stop playing the way we know how to play and have an awful second period. They aren't much better in the third. It's about the team, not about yourself. Yeah. And I think if they get back to doing that and the last point you mentioned, and this is what it comes down to as well. Pierre-Luc Dubois has to wake up. 
because maybe we were uncertain headed into this year about the Winnipeg Jets trade and maybe the Winnipeg Jets in general. I was a little more optimistic. They are proving not only were a lot of us wrong about the team, that we were wrong about this trade as well. And they need to get Pierre-Luc Dubois going in a very big way. We're going to get the rest of this episode rolling into talking about Miro Heiskanen and Josh Morrissey, a couple of D-men, both on the opposite sides of injuries, and wrapping this bad boy up with big-time bets. Today's episode is brought to you by our friends at Indeed. If you need to hire, you need Indeed. Indeed is your matching and hiring platform with over 350 million global monthly visitors. According to Indeed data, matching engine that helps your find quality candidates fast, that's Indeed. Ditch the busy work. Use Indeed for scheduling, screening, and messaging so you can connect with all of your candidates faster. All of our listeners of this show get a $75 sponsored job credit to get your jobs more visibility at Indeed.com slash locked on. Just head over to Indeed.com slash locked on right now and support the show by saying you heard about Indeed on this pod. Indeed.com slash locked on. Terms and conditions apply. You need to hire. You need Indeed. My friends, today's episode is also brought to you by FanDuel. The NFL postseason is wrapping up, but there's still a whole bunch of time to get on the action with FanDuel, America's number one sports book. Right now, customers get 150 bucks in bonus bets guaranteed when you place a $5 bet. That's 150 bucks in bonus bets, win or lose. The app is secure. It's super easy to use. So many different ways to bet, like live same game parlays. Find bets over in the Explore Hub and make a parlay in the Parlay Hub. The best way to find popular parlays and a whole lot more. Visit FanDuel.com slash locked on to make your first bet a touchdown. FanDuel, official partner of the NFL. And thank you so much for making the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast your first listen every single day. Make sure you go over to YouTube. Check out Locked On Sports today. They are here for you 24-7, covering the top sports stories of the day with local experts of Locked On, plus the national shows covering every single league. Make sure you subscribe to the first ever national sports 24-7 streaming channel. It's been up for over a month and a half now. Spectacular things going on there. They're here for you every second of the day whenever you need so make sure you go over there subscribe to that channel subscribe to this one as well continue Mm -hmm. to hit the like the follow and a five-star review we're gonna move forward before we get to big time bets at the end of the episode a couple of defensemen on like you said opposite ends of injuries right now Miro Heiskanen comes back but Josh Morrissey Mm -hmm. um, Morrissey is out we don't know for how long it could be just day to day it could be for a week or so Mm -hmm. um still yet to be determined but he did take a shot Um, I don't know exactly where it might've been in the Mm -hmm. gut. It might've been in the groin area, but he left the game did not return in that one, nothing loss in overtime to the Toronto Maple Mm -hmm. Leafs. And I will say this before we get to Morrissey, I think the uh, uh, Winnipeg Jets uh, were very unlucky to lose this game. They outworked, they outplayed the Toronto Maple Leafs. They also were without Connor Hellebuck in the net. They were with, even though uh, Bersois played amazing, uh, Mm -hmm. they were without Velarde. I believe they were out uh, Mark Shifley in the lineup. So they were missing a couple of guys and, the Leafs were just continuously turning the puck over, could not make a pass tape to tape. Uh, yeah. and, and it was very hard to watch that game. Even though they got the, uh, a big two points, that was a tough watch for a lot of Leaf fans out there. Hey, we're not going to talk too much about that because your boy fell asleep in the second period, <laughs> spilled the beer all over the couch, that kind of game. And, you yeah. know, I did watch it from start to finish for about a maybe a 25-minute blip there in the middle. You know, obviously it ends well for Leafs fans, but the Winnipeg Jets to come into that on the road against a Leafs team very motivated to play better as well. Let's be honest. They needed to put one of their best performances together, and offensively they didn't, and Samsonov saved their bacon. But it was still a tight game for this Winnipeg Jets club. Down the players you mentioned, very good result. But Josh Morrissey is not a good result, and I'm running this video back here a couple of times it almost looks like he got hit in the hand or the wrist. That's they're what calling, I thought originally too. They're calling it lower body, but he re- reaches over and he almost holds his arm, hand, or wrist. So in 46 games this season, Josh Morris, he's seven goals, 26 assists, 33 points. He's third on the team in points, first among defensemen, obviously, and he leads the team in average ice time. That right there obviously is fantasy holes you're going to have to get creative with tap into Monday's waiver wire episode. Mm -hmm. But if he is indeed out, that's the thing. We don't know. It's just that didn't look good steel. And we're not going to speculate on days or if he is out, I'm going to have a feeling knowing how good this jets team has been. And now they're starting to get injured. And I know that doesn't play into how you deal with a player. They might not be wanting to rush their number one defenseman back in any capacity, knowing 
that this is a playoff team now. So you got to start remembering what it is you're trying to achieve. So I'll say this lastly. If Josh Morrissey is out for any long, prolonged period of time and they have to deal with Mark Shifley, this team has proven that they can get it done without stars like Ehlers and others up front. Kyle Connor has been out. I don't know if they want to put that to the test too much more going down the stretch, especially when, nice segue, teams like the Dallas Stars, conversely, getting healthy Jake Ottinger and Miro Heiskanen now back. Miro Heiskanen back after away from the team with a lower body injury for the last three weeks. He missed the last 10 games for them, but they have continued to roll on without him. Six, yes. three, and one record without Miro Heiskanen in those last 10 games. Uh, obviously, it's great to get Miro Heiskanen back for both the, uh, the Dallas Stars and for fantasy GMs out there who own him, but it's especially great to have Miro Heiskanen back for the power play. They were still pretty solid uh, without him. They went six yeah. for 26. If my math is correct, that would be 23%. <laughs> so, which is it's still very good. And which is still, you're asking average. me about math. I yeah, no, I'm, not, I'm just hoping yeah. my math's correct right now, <laughs> but you know, that's their average for the season so far, 22, 23%. So they've done that without him, but obviously they, uh, they, they want him on a uh, quarterbacking that power play. They could have, they missed a, a lot of uh, missed opportunities that they probably could have cleaned up with him mm. on the power play and quarterbacking it. Sure. But I will say this, at least with him out of the lineup, Thomas Harley played absolutely spectacular uh, playing some heavy minutes for him. Um, you know, playing, playing over hey. 22 minutes a night. Uh, mm -hmm. so, some games when he was out, he racked up eight points in those 10 games without yep. Merrill Heiskin. And I will say this moving forward as well, before I throw it back over to you, sure. come playoff time, yeah. I want to see Thomas Harley, on a line or on a deep pairing with Miro Heiskin and more consistently right now it's uh, Ryan Suter. I know they kind of mix and match sometimes. It's sort of just how it works on the defensive end. Sure. Uh, you know, you know, every other game or so, but Ryan Suter at 39 years old and come playoff time, it's a different atmosphere. We all know that it's a different speed and he has struggled in the playoffs at times in, in uh, defensively in their own zone. So I would like to see Suter's minutes a little bit reduced with Heiskin and yeah. Harley on that top deep pairing with him. I absolutely love that take. And this isn't, I'll get to fantasy, my fantasy take on this in one second. But when I think about this, and it's a bit of a more of an intangible, the fact that Thomas Harley was kind of thrown in there to the Wolves and performed, yeah, got that experience over this stretch of a, I know it's only a few weeks, but for a young player like Harley, getting those minutes and that responsibility and performing, I know it's a small sample size, but how huge is that going to be for this Stars team to be able to now rely on him a little bit more as we push towards the postseason? that's going to be absolutely critical for this team's success. We know, and he's not been on his game, Jake Ottinger and Scott Wedgwood, very solid goaltending yes. duo. Yeah. Up front, balanced, experienced. They're one of the oldest teams in the league, but they know how to win and they know how to get it done. The young pieces we've talked about, Robertson, Hints, and then back end, young, uh, older guys, Sagan, Ben, we know all about it. Pavelski, Pavelski. I'm not mentioning it, Steele. It's a two-year <laughs> anniversary. We're keeping it positive. It's also Mark Giordano's birthday. But what I wanted to say is the key to this team's success is the ability of the blue line to support that forward group. Now with Miro Heiskanen back in the fold, and this is the fantasy side, leads the team in ice time, 25-plus minutes, tops amongst their defensemen with 27 points and 37 games, fills out the peripherals nicely. This is huge for any fantasy GM getting him back in the fold and coming off a career-high 73 points last year. You know this guy can bring it. He's just coming into his prime, just scratching the surface, and obviously, along with Ottinger, these are the two pieces that keep this back end afloat so this is huge for dallas at this time of year i think the dallas stars might have one of the brightest future uh futures in the nhl yep. over the next you know five ten years hashtag with all these wyatt young johnson guys hashtag wyatt johnson as well thomas harley nine goals on the season shooting at close to 13 percent, i believe Dang. so great to see some young uh some young defensemen alongside miro heiskanen as well we're gonna get to big time bets i've got a Big flip triple dip coming Dang. on. I believe there's only four games on the schedule yes, for Friday night. But first, this episode is brought to you by eBay Motors. Passion, drive, and patience. What brings home the winning trophy is also what keeps your ride or die alive. eBay Motors has everything you need to maintain your vehicle and level it up to peak performance. From superchargers, roof racks, exhaust kits, LED headlights, and more, whether you're into speed, power, or style, eBay Motors has got you covered with over 122 million parts for your number one ride or die. You'll always find exactly what you're looking for. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, your part is guaranteed to fit your ride every time or your money back. Because with eBay Motors, you're burning rubber, not cash. 
With all the parts you need at the prices you want, it's easy to turn your car into the MVP and bring home that win. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. eBay guaranteed fit. Only available to U.S. customers. And thank you so much for making the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast your first listen every single day. Continue to hit the subscribe, the follow button, and leave a five-star review. Leave all the comments, the the questions, statements, whatever you've got for both Flip and I Mm -hmm. on the YouTube channel. And we'll get back to you as soon as possible. We love the dialogue. We love the conversations. And we love the hot takes from all of our listeners out there. And if you agree or disagree with our opinions, Flip, four games on the schedule. I've got a same-game parlay. Would you like me to just rattle these off? Uh, Give her some explanation, or do you want to kick us off for us? Hey, you know what? Why don't you just go ahead? I got a same game parlay too. Hit me with whatever, whatever you got, pal. I'm intrigued to see if we're from the same game, but why don't you just have at it? Yeah, well, from what again, my statement the other day about Nathan McKinnon being the best player in the NBA <laughs> hey. right now is holding true. He yes, is it an is. absolute dog. Yes, That's why they is. call him Nate Dog. Yeah. He's been a beast recently, oh, and that's man. where I'm starting. Avalanche versus the LA Kings. We know how bad they've been over the last 14 games, 10 Mm. games especially, but McKinnon over one and a half points in this matchup, 26, 26 points in his last 12 games. He also just had four goals and a five point night the other night against the Washington Capitals. Absolutely Mm. spectacular. Again, probably the fastest skater, uh, hot takeover Connor McDavid. (laughs) He is incredible out there to watch. So McKinnon over one and a half points. Second pick, McCarr, anytime assist, five game point streak, nine Ooh, points in that like time it. with seven yeah. assists. I, like I love that. what he's doing. I could go with a third uh, player a prop as well with Miko Ranton because he's been hot, but I'm going to go to the Avalanche on the puck line. Oh, the LA Kings at plus 168. I don't know the odds yet for those player props because they're not out, yep. uh, you know, the, uh, the day before, but we'll get them out there on Twitter yep. before the game starts. But mm-hmm. last pick, Avalanche puck line. Versus the Kings at plus 168. They're yeah. 7-2-1 and one in their last 10. If you want to yes, dial it back are. a little bit and go on the money line, I'm totally cool with that as well. But mm. six of those seven wins have been by two or more goals. So those are my three picks. Lock of the night, though. McCarr, anytime assist. Love that. I'm going to add that into my same game parlay, which also comes from the same game. You've covered off Colorado. I'm taking the abs on the money line. I'm copping out because I'm liking the same game parlay. Don't need to explain it anymore. You've covered it. Number two, you've covered it as well. How about Nathan McKinnon over <laughs> 1.5 anytime points, baby? This is the two-year anniversary episode, and we're going to get this Italian money. Now, last pick, probably my favorite pick. Actually, before I get onto that, which is my lock of the night, Nathan McKinnon over the last 25 games, I dialed it back a little bit just to make this sound even more impressive. How about this deal? 52 points. This man's not at a point per game. He's at two point yeah. plus per game. 90, 112 shots on net steal. Six game winning goals and 22 goals overall. My goodness, Nathan McKinnon right now is the best player in the yes. NHL. And I don't think that's really an argument. Right now he's cooking. And that's why I also have to take the over because the last mm-hmm. five games, LA into Colorado, well over the number. Both teams are playing a lot of crooked number hockey. That's why I'm loving the over. Hit me with all three of those. If I had to go at a lock of the night, I'm really, really loving that over. I could see 5-3. I could see 7-2. I could see something wild. That's what I'm going with. Those are the three. Two same game parlays on the two-year anniversary. Giddy up. Giddy up indeed. The two-year anniversary, the same game parlays. Absolutely feeling it for Friday night heading into the weekend. Thank you so much for making the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast your first listen every single day. And once again, make sure you go to YouTube. Check out the first ever national sports 24-7 streaming channel. They're here for you 24-7, covering the top sports stories of the day with local experts of Locked On, plus the national shows covering every single league. So make sure you go over to YouTube and subscribe to the first ever national sports 24-7 streaming channel, Locked On Sports Today. And once again, thank you so much for tuning in for today's episode with Flip and I on the two-year anniversary of when we first started here. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. Good luck with all your bets out there tonight. And we shall see you back here again on Monday. Peace.